Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a video of the gear that I took with me on the Monday Biddy. I did a bike packing tour. It was about two weeks, 14 days, pretty lightweight setup. So I just thought I'd go through all the gear that I had. I've taken a few things out already. Um, took my sleeping bag out of the front pack and also a little port bag I had. So I'll show you the gear that's not in the bags first. This is the sleeping bag I use, it's pretty lightweight, it's just like a no brand, I think it's called a Nico. It's one of the Tomb style sleeping bags. It's quite thin, it's made for like tropical conditions, so I actually found it was a little bit cold every now and then, especially on the first few nights. That's why I ended up picking up a jumper, it's just like a basic sweater, nothing too interesting. And I also picked up some extra thermals uh, when I stopped in at my mum's place have these, they're just like a pair of uh, long johns basically. Uh, and this is like a compact uh, backpack, it can like be reduced down to a really small size. It is Nature Hike, it's what's that, 18 litres. And I actually highly recommend these, I bought this off eBay, it was only less than $20 Australian and it's been really good. This has now done probably over 5,000 kilometres of touring with me and it hasn't broken or anything. Um, neck buff, super important. I picked this up off eBay as well, it was like a few bucks. But I literally wear this every day because I'm not like a huge fan of wearing sunscreen. So I can avoid wearing it when I wear this. You can just pull it right over your head under your helmet. And on the same line of thought, I got a couple of arm covers. Same sort of deal, eBay. They're like five bucks, I think, for the pair. The, the sizing's a bit weird because they're from China, but. For the most part, it's been, they've been fine. Um, I think these are like the extra large pair. In the pack here, I've also got some leg covers. Usually we're just keeping them in with my sort of technology stuff, my battery packs and all that, just because they fit in there. It's basically the same. I think I bought them from a different seller, but same as the leg ones, just a bit longer, you know? I think they were actually cheaper. Got a pair of cycling gloves, the pearl ones, I really like these. I just picked them up in the US when I went through my last pair of gloves. Um, had a helmet, really nice helmet, I find it really comfortable this one. I get pretty paranoid about bike, th like, uh, bike thieves, so I always travel with like a bike chain. It's quite a heavy duty one, I've got this uh, Lockwood lock as well. There's the chain there, you can see it's like a fairly thick gauge. I don't mess around, hey. I had my socks, I just had two pairs of socks and they were literally just like cheap socks from Kmart, they were cotton, which is probably a mistake because these really don't dry very well. Cotton's like absorbs a lot of moisture so it takes quite a while for them to dry at night, uh, if you wash them or anything. So yeah, I would definitely wear a different pair of socks. Had the Bont mountain bike shoes, these are a really good shoe. They have like the wide sole, carbon, um, sorry, wide toe box and carbon sole. So they've been yeah, really sick, super comfy, I find anyway. Um, they've been a really good shoe. So on the setup, I suppose I'll start with the other gear that I had in here, my other electronics and that. I bought this universal plug from uh, Officeworks. It's worked out really well. It's got like three USBs and also the USB-C, which is really a bit of a gimmick. I wish it just had a fourth USB, but you can pick up adapters for them, which I actually did do. I've got it around here somewhere in there, but basically it just adapts it to USB, which, you know, I mean, everything plugs USB, really. And another good thing about this one is, uh, what is it, the uh, console, console, you can... Uh, change out like this plug and it has like all the adapters and the normal one is like the US plug which is really sick so and I have all the other adapter bits as well so that's like super handy that's been great I have a couple of battery packs which have both been really good they're pretty roughed up this one's a, this is a console as well uh, that is a 20,100 milliamp hours I think the other one's the same these have been so good, they've only been roughed up since this last trip. It's pretty bumpy on the gravel roads, but besides that, they've worked fine. You know, they'll get like probably three charges of my Google Pixel out of one of these. So yeah, it's been super handy. I didn't have, that one's an anchor, 
This one's been really good too. Both of them I speak really highly of. Months of touring with me now. Definitely next time I would also travel with like a solar panel so I can recharge my stuff. I found that every like four or five days I'd have to find somewhere in town to recharge. It was just a real pain to even have to do that. So I've actually already gone and bought a solar panel. Um, I think it's a... I think it's a light solar. There's not many reviews on YouTube of it, so if it's any good, I'll let you know. This is like the little adapter I got for the USB-C, and it was handy just so I could use that extra port. Three micro USBs, my phone charger, which is just like the USB-C. Uh, that one's just like your standard old school mini USB. Um, headlamp, super important. I actually got this one from BCF, I definitely recommend it because it's super small, super lightweight, has three settings and a flash setting, this, like you can get it super bright, so yeah, Wanderer, um, yeah, this has been awesome, it's just so small, you know, and it just fits your head really well, packs up so like you can see it in my hand there, and it's all USB rechargeable, all my gear's USB rechargeable because I don't want to deal with batteries and... You know, it's so wasteful. That's where my other sock went. I've been wondering where that went. So I had two pairs of socks. That's one of the socks. I don't know how that found its way in there. So that's all the gear out of there. Uh, in the other side of this, I sort of just kept bits and bobs. Like I've got my dental floss. Um, got my spork thing. You know, obviously you need one of these. This one is a... Uh, Human gear, really good. I find some some other brands, this stem is quite thin. Um, so in this side pack here, I have the dental floss. I always uh, been carrying some spare cable ties, and uh, I only took a couple this trip, but you know I would take more next time because it's actually really handy. Um, toothbrush, and of course, being like ultra light, I cut it in half. Pretty pointless, but I mean you can still use it no problem. It's just like a little bamboo brush. That's all I had. Little toothpaste. I've literally just been refilling this toothpaste thing so I don't have to keep buying them. Just seemed a bit wasteful. Got my uh, Opinel. It's not necessarily a lot weight, but it's a good knife and I just had it and I wasn't like super worried. You can probably get something super lightweight, but it's like Wendy's stop, I suppose. A few more cable ties. Uh, tire levers. I mean, you need them basically, they're plastic. You can get the steel inserted ones with plastic outer layers, with like a plastic outer layer, which are, would be better, I think, but not as light, and these just do the job. Obviously, a cigarette lighter to light the cooker. Uh, spare little battery. That's the only thing I need a battery for, I think, would be the cadence sensor that I, just a little to 10 speed chain link as well in there. You know, never know when your chain's gonna break. Probably should have taken a derailleur hanger and also a cable, but I didn't, just out of laziness. Just like a part tool, um, nipple um, tool, and just like a multi-tool as well. This one actually has a chain breaker on it, but I see it's just rattled off. That's a toe peak. Also got some uh, patches. These are super handy, these patches, because you can also use these to patch your sleeping equipment, like your... Uh, uh, your air mattress if you get a hole in that or your pillow if you've got like an air pillow and they actually work really well for that so that's what I've also used these for in the past another cable tie obviously I had more than I realised that's everything in that side pack um, I was using this top tube bag uh, Apertura, all my stuff's been Apertura so far and I've had a pretty good, uh, pretty good time with Apertura so the top tube bag could definitely be bigger though this is I think the biggest one they do and it's, I mean it's quite small you know, it could be quite a lot bigger, so I don't know why they do that. I ended up cutting just like the bottom of a water bottle to just put like the sultanas in. As you can see, it didn't really work, but I was just, yeah, this is like my food pouch anyway. Okay, the skittles. Just some leftover sultanas and that's it. I think, in hindsight, I'd probably start using that for like my phone and stuff like that, and maybe use one of these pouches as a food pouch. These are great. I've got two of them. They're just like the little food pouch thing that goes on your handlebar highly recommend these have been really cool super convenient really easy just to like chuck a water bottle in it or you know food or just whatever like i got in this one i've got my uh my short bluetooth headphones pretty essential when you get bored on the tracks got some uh sunscreen of course this 
is uh, Vaseline. I was using that instead of chamois um, butt cream, whatever you want to call it, chamois cream, butt butter. Uh, I found this worked really well, and I'm, you know, you didn't have to use too much of it. What else is there? I've actually got some, oh, there you go, more sultanas. And some more, probably just a bit of rubbish, I think. That's all that's in that one. I probably wouldn't recommend putting stuff like that in these, though, because it can bounce out. My Vaseline did bounce out at one point, and my headphones bounced out at one point, so I'll probably stop doing that. I'll start just putting less valuable stuff in these, but... That said, though, these are super convenient. This one I just had a water bottle in. Uh, one of these ones. Just like your uh, sort of standard Camelback. I think this is a 710ml. 710ml uh, milliliter Camelback. And you can see it just sort of sits in there neat. In the bottom of this I had a few other bits and pieces like some uh, lackey bands. There's a bit of old floss I need to just throw away. Lackey bands are good just to like seal your food that you uh, didn't finish, like if you've got leftover rice or pasta. And these uh, bobby pins, these have been awesome as like clothes pegs. I also picked up a set of these Ergon grips. These are the large set. So good. I found that without, just with like the standard round grips that my wrist and my palm, especially my palm will get quite sore. But with these, it just stopped it immediately. Here I've got my Brighton 330. Yeah, it's good to just like keep track of uh, distance, speed, cadence, stuff like that. It's been really good. I haven't got, really got any complaints on that since I've done some updates. Uh, I've also got the quad log. I just bought that before I left and I've just got the universal adapter for, you know, for, for uh, not, not an actual phone case, it's just a universal adapter. I've really liked this. Cable tie it on though, don't just like use the little rubber bands they give you because it's actually quite hard to get that to push down and to twist your phone off. So I ended up breaking one of those rubber bands they give you. So yeah, cable tied on and you won't have any issues. Um, obviously, always run with like a torch. This is just a moon. Um, nothing too fancy. I just got it uh, for cheap. And I've got a rear light as well. One that I just picked up from a friend, I think. Both USB rechargeable, which is just convenient as. So this front aperture bag's been really good. It's the larger of the two that they offer. The only problem I was having is because I've got 100mm suspension travel, I had to have this strapped up to sort of help it stop from touching the tyre. I had a pair of flip flops and they were just strapped on the front here, but they got totaled so I ended up uh, just throwing them away on the last day of the trip. So the gear I had in my front bag was the other sleeping bag, which I've already shown you. Um, I had like this little med, but I've never had to use it. Had, I actually had four of these hooks to begin with, just like a little magnetic hook. Probably didn't need them in hindsight, it was probably a little bit lavish, but I did use them until about halfway through the trip and then all the huts were stainless steel anyway, so you couldn't even use the magnets. It's just like a sleeping pillow, a little inflatable one. I really like it. I mean, it slips around a little bit, but you know, it's better than sleeping just on a jacket or something. For me, that's totally worth the extra like 30, 50, whatever it is grams couple of bits of uh, rope, super handy. Yeah, so in here I've also got my BV bag. I honestly don't know what brand it is or anything like that, but I've had a pretty good time with it. The best thing about it is that it just keeps you a little bit warmer and also it's got like the mosquito net. And you can just sort of tie it up to a roof or something, but it's not really waterproof like I've found. I just don't know if I'm supposed to waterproof coat it with something or if I've been using it wrong, but I've found that I just get wet through it pretty quickly. Um, I've got this ultralight um, full length sleeping mat. It's actually got a foam insert. So next time I buy one of these, this is a black wolf. Um, if you can still read it. Next time I buy one, I wouldn't get the foam insert. It seems pretty useless to me. I mean, it is more comfortable, but it takes up a lot more space. So yeah, and I probably don't even know if I'd get the full length. Uh, I probably would get the full length and it's like a tomb style. Uh, what else have I got in the front here? Not much more. I used to have that uh, ultralight backpack, the one that squeezes up real small in the front, and I have a bit of toilet paper in there as well, obviously. Um, the bottle cages, I've just got a couple more camelbacks. These are the slightly smaller ones. These are 620mm. Uh, just because they would fit under here a little bit better with the bag. You can see it's a bit of a tight squeeze there. Uh, I've got the side giant water bottle cages so you can sort of pull it out to the side and you don't have to pull it up. 
couple of tubes that I just taped under here. In hindsight, probably not the best place to put new bike tubes as like stuff flicks up onto them and might damage them. I think these are probably okay, but I don't think I would mount them there again. It's just too like, you don't want your new tubes getting all dirty and damaged. So yeah, I won't be doing that again. Clipless pedals. Basically just a bit of gear in the back here. A bit mixed up since I took the bus back to Perth, but obviously I got my GoPro and that just it's like a chest strap and I would always just have that on me. Um, so that wouldn't actually ever really be in here just for the transport I had it in there. Same with the Camelback. I bought this before I left. Never really used the Camelback before, but I found it great. This is a two liter one. I was worried that I would be a bit heavy on my back, but you don't even notice it honestly. So that was really good. Part of it is just because there's a lot on, a lot around and they were cheap. Uh, another pair of long johns, these are like super thin thermal ones, just because my sleeping bag really wasn't warm enough. Um, so, also got my cooking pot. And this is the Summer Alpha Pot, it's awesome, I really like it. One of the features I actually really like is that the handle moves around like this, so it can kind of lit in place when you're um, moving around, traveling, so it doesn't fall off. And then it just locks on like that. And you can just keep stuff inside it. Uh, these were the straps that I was using to keep the front uh, Apertura bag from touching the wheel. Like I said, it's all a bit mixed up just from the last day of uh, travel on the bus. But they worked okay. They're just from Bunnings. Uh, grip well, last 6 to 8 kilos. Honestly, like, they weren't very, they weren't good enough. They would come loose. So I would try and find something a bit more suitable next time. Uh, just got my cycling uh, nicks, my shorts, just like these are Juro. I actually really like these, super comfortable. A couple of dry bags, that one's empty, I just used to put any leftover food in that, like dried rice or something like that, leftover pasta. In here I've got all my sort of like liquid type stuff that could spill. I don't remember what I have in here really. Uh, chain loop, super important, put it on every day, some just detergent, and obviously I had a, just like a sponge in there, I just cut one from Coles in half, seemed to work alright. Um, I still got, had me a compression bandage in case I got bitten by a snake, pretty important. Just had that strapped on right here with a couple of easy, like, uh, reusable cable ties so I could just pull it off super quick. Uh, thermal shirt, just Kathmandu, I think. I basically had two t-shirts. There's one there and the other one's laying around somewhere. Here it is. I mean, you don't need much. You probably could get away with one, but I don't know. It's nice to have a clean one at the end of the day to switch into if one doesn't dry by morning. Um, had like a fairly lightweight microfiber towel. I mean, this is a fairly full size towel. Um, I don't need, I don't know if you really need them that big. I mean, you can see it's quite large, but whatever. I had it and I didn't really care that much. Fuel for my burner. I had a butane burner. I think next time I'm going to use the Primus Omni Fuel, though. I've heard good things about that supposed to be way cheaper you can just burn petrol instead of having to buy these I mean that was like $12 in Pemberton uh, 360 degrees uh, stove burn the thing this has been great it cooks super quick it's clean it's easy you know you just push, push those out and screw it onto the butane and away you go I mean that was great really but again I'm sort of looking to make things a bit cheaper in the future so I'll probably fork out and buy one of the Primus Omni lights or the Omni fuels. And, uh, oh, I just had this other microfiber just for like wiping myself down at the end of the day. Obviously there's no showers out there but there's water tanks and stuff like that so this is all you need. I think I only had really two, one shower actually, one warm shower anyway on the whole trip. There's my other sock. And yeah, that's that's all the gear. Uh, Specialized toothpaste saddle. It's a fairly flat profile saddle. This is in the 155mm. 
and I had a fairly comfortable ride on that. I found when I was in the saddle for, you know, like two days over about 80 kilometers, I'd be a little bit sore just from like uh, the rubbing, I think, you know, um, probably not using enough Vaseline or whatever. Gear combination I had, this is a 10 speed I put on. I bought one of the Wolf Tooth extenders for my derailleur so I could fit a 40 tooth on. Uh, you could also fit a 42, but I already had a 40 laying around, so I just put that on. Um, SLX derailleur. Uh, the front's a 3 by, and I think it's a 46... No, it's not. It's a 40, 30, 22. And honestly, like, I don't know what the easiest gears you can get up, but, I mean, mine was a... Whatever you want to call it, 22, 40 and get something even easier than that because there's some steep sections on the Mundabitty. I mean, you might, you can fit a 46 with this extender. It's a little touch and go, but I had one on there. I've actually got one and it was all right, but I decided not to use it. In hindsight, probably could have and it would have made life a bit easier. But it's not essential. As you can see, the tires are pretty worn out from a thousand kilometers of riding. I mean, the back one's pretty much finished, really. I mean, you wouldn't, wouldn't use that much for much else. The front's not in too bad condition, though. All in all, the bike was great. It's just an old aluminium Giant XTC. I think it's a 2011 model. I tend to prefer aluminium over carbon just because I'm more comfortable riding it. It was a pretty good setup for them under Biddy. There's not really much I would change. Just travel with a solar panel. Uh, I'd probably try and get wider tires for it and maybe try and get easier gearing. Uh, but besides that, I was pretty happy with everything. Just this bag is obviously on the front was just a bit too big, so I'd probably try and do something a bit better with that. Um, but yeah, everything else I was really happy with. So yeah, if you want to do the Mundabitty 29 hard, I was definitely suitable.